this lesson, we will discuss scale factor. Now, let us assume the length of a line is 2 centimeters. And we take this as the original length. Now, if I want to enlarge the length of the line by a scale factor of 2, so that is to enlarge, I would then multiply the original length by the value of the scale factor. So the enlarged length would be 4 centimeters because I multiply the original length by 2. I can also reduce the original length by a scale factor of 2. And in order to reduce the original line, I would take the original length and now divide it by 2 to get a length of 1 centimeter. So it's important to understand, with a scale factor, we can either enlarge by multiplying the length, or we can reduce the original length by dividing. But notice in this example, the scale factor remained 2. So in order to enlarge a length, we would multiply the original length by the scale factor, and in order to reduce the length, we divide the original length by the scale factor. A scale factor can also be presented in the form of a ratio. So the scale factor in this case would be 1 to 3, and that would be a ratio. So I can enlarge it by multiplying the original length with 3, or I can divide it or reduce it by dividing the original length by 3. It's important to know that you can read ratios from two ways. So you can either say this is 1 over 3, or the ratio is 3 over 1. It depends on the direction in which you are working. Let us look at the triangle. Its lengths are 2, 3, and 4 centimeters. And we want to enlarge it by a scale factor of 3, or by a ratio of 1 to 3. Now when we say enlarge, it will mean that the length of the triangle would become bigger. And in order to find the new lengths, I would need to multiply each length in the triangle by 3. So now, this diagram is enlarged by a scale factor of 3, meaning it is 3 times bigger than the original. The original drawing is 3 times smaller than the new drawing, or the new drawing is 3 times bigger than the original drawing. So that's to illustrate that you can read a ratio in any direction. Let us now work with an example without using any figures. So ABCD is a rectangle with a length of 8 cm and a breadth of 6 cm. It is enlarged to form EFGH, that is a new rectangle, that has a length of 28 cm and a breadth of 21 cm. So the original length was 8 centimeters, and now the new length is 28 centimeters. And the original breadth was 6 centimeters, and now the new breadth is 21 centimeters. So we can see that the figure ABCD was enlarged by just comparing the length and breadth with each other. The first question that we can answer is, calculate the enlargement factor, or the scale factor. So I take the new length, and I divide it by the original length, and the scale factor is 3.5. So the new diagram is 3.5 times bigger than the original diagram. 
We can also use the scale factor to see or determine the impact on the perimeter. So the perimeter of ABCD would be two lengths plus two breadths, which is 28 centimeters. That is the distance around ABCD. And the perimeter of the new diagram is two lengths times two breadths, which is 98 centimeters. That's distance around the enlarged figure. But I could have found the new perimeter of the enlarged figure directly but only using the old distance or the original distance. So in the previous question, we found that the enlargement factor is 3.5. So if I were to take the original perimeter and multiply it by 3.5, I would find that the perimeter of the new diagram is 98 centimeters. So there are two ways in order to find the perimeter of the new diagram or enlarged diagram. How about area? If I look at the rectangle, the original length was 8 centimeters and the original breadth was 6 centimeters. And I enlarged the length by three and a half times and I enlarged the breadth by three and a half times. So when I enlarged the length by three and a half times, we got 28 centimeters. And when I enlarged the breadth by three and a half times, we found a distance of 21 centimeters. So I can find the area of the new diagram by multiplying 28 centimeters with 21 centimeters. Or I can find the area of the new diagram by multiplying the area of the original diagram with three and a half and another three and a half because I increased the length with three and a half and I increased the breadth three and a half times. So the area of EFGH is 12.25 times bigger than the area of the original diagram.